Hey guys, hope everybody's doing well and staying cool where you are or dry where you are. Um, yeah, it's super hot here right now, but the air conditioning's on inside, so I am comfortable. <laughs> um, I couldn't decide on which pen to choose, so I bought them both. <laughs> I was on Pen Chalet. Uh, this was a while ago, and they had the Wanderlust um, collection up, and there's four colors actually in it, um, green, blue, orange, and purple, and I originally was going with the orange one, but, you know, you know how much I love green, <laughs> so, yeah, that definitely went in the basket, and then I saw blue, and that reminds me of the ocean, which is the whole premise of these pens, by the way. Um, first of all, they come gift box, a uh, beautiful gift box, but let's set that aside. Um, they're all meant to evoke um, different um, places on planet Earth. Uh, the green for the forest, the blue for the oceans, the orange for the canyons, and the purple uh, is for the... Um, Ice Capped Mountains. And that's probably the only one that doesn't really intrigue me because me and winter were just not a thing. But, so I saw both of these and I just couldn't decide. I just absolutely could not choose between the two. So, yep, I bought them both. And when I got the green one at home, um, uh, the names of these are like I said, it's the Wanderlust collection. This is the green is Borneo, the blue is Malta, the orange is Antelope, um, and I can't remember what the fourth one is, the purple one. Anyway, but when I got the green one and opened it up, it looks like, first of all, this lacquer and um, it's like a gold. Uh, uh, gold plated finish on it but it's absolutely gorgeous it is so beautiful and in some parts even like here I don't know if you can see this I'll try to hold it still for the camera I have really good pictures I'll show at the end it almost looks like quartz or something it's just really beautiful but when I opened it up it looked like a little green heart right here and I was like so excited for that because if you know me you know I love green I love green hearts and um, yeah so I love this pen it's just so beautiful it really is so pretty and the blue I love anything that has to do with the ocean um, this is meant to represent uh, uh, I guess it's the Mediterranean Sea or the Tyranian Sea. I'm trying to remember when I was in um, Sicily. But we never made it down to Malta. But, um, you know, just the beautiful blue waters. Um, yeah, it actually reminds me of the Blue Grotto. Um, but ugh, look at that. It's just so beautiful. It's really beautiful. Um, it's a small pen. It's only 5.3 inches. I have, let's see, let's compare it to a Quaco though. It's, you know, larger than that. <clears throat> it's slimmer than my uh, Sailor Shikiori. She, I can't pronounce that right. And it's about as slim as uh, this is my Estabrook, my vintage Estabrook uh, transitional J. It's about as slim as that. So, and I will show you what it's like uncapped. This is not a, <clears throat> it's not a twist off cap. So every time I pick it up, I have to remember that because so many of my fountain pens are twist caps, uh, twist off. This is a um, clip cap. And, but it posts, it posts, um, 
you know, well on my hands. I would not, I mean, you can post it, but I wouldn't want to ruin the, um, the lacquer finish on here by posting it. So I definitely would not. So if you have extremely large hands, this may not be a great um, pen for you, but you know, if you have a pretty standard um, hand size, I think this is, I think this is good. Uh, what else do I need to tell you? Oh, um, it comes with two cartridges and they're tiny, <laughs> they're very small. They do have a converter, which I did not purchase yet. And um, so I just uh, uh, took a syringe and cleaned out the ink that was in the um, basic black ink that was supplied with it and um, put my own colors in. You know, because we like to match our inks to our pens, because that's what we do. So there is a converter available for this. Um, what else? I have a, I purchased it, them both in a medium nib. And here is let's see here. Here's a sample of the of the writing. Extremely smooth writer. I mean, as you know. <clears throat> Everybody has a different standard. Every fountain pen manufacturer has a different standard for what medium means to them. I think this is, a, I don't, well, I can't, you can't compare it. You just can't. I think it's a beautiful, smooth writer. I'll show you a little um, writing demonstration. I think that the um, green is a little bit of a wetter ink, so I think that's why that looks a little bit more loaded up. <clears throat> and the writing on the blue is um, a sailor ink, and I, you know, I think that's just the difference. But they're both medium point. They both write super smooth. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous pens. I really want the uh, antelope one now. Um, like I said, my family's in Arizona. Uh, we went to the Grand Canyon just recently, but we didn't have time to um, do Antelope Canyon. So we plan on going back and doing that. Um, so hopefully maybe I'll get, I'll get the pen um, before then and, and take it on my next journey, my next adventure out there. But in the meantime, uh, these are just absolutely beautiful pens. And I think they're a great gift for any fountain pen lover you have in your life. And yeah, that's it. So I just want to share that real quick. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you again. Take care. Bye.